Hello YouTube and welcome to lesson 34 of the Adobe Illustrator tutorial series. So today we're going to learn how to trace a character inside of Adobe Illustrator. So in order to trace a character, what you have to do is you have to go inside of layers and then uh, import uh, an image like this. So to import an image into Adobe Illustrator, you simply go to file, uh, go to place and then select the file um, uh, from uh, the selection window right here from the Explorer that pops up click place and you'll get the image right here. So once you do that, what you have to do is you need to uh, bring out the object which you want to trace out. For example, uh, in my case, I, I want to trace out the head of this cartoon character right here. And this can be done with drawings. So you, you should scan your drawings and then place them as your references. So I'm going to um, use the clipping mask to actually cut off just the head because that's the only part that I want to trace out. So I just uh, kept the square on top of it, select both of the objects, right click and make clipping mask. So that's how I get just the head. So that's the only part I'm going to trace about right now. Let me expand that out right just like this. And then I'm going to reduce its opacity. So in order to reduce, uh, reduce the opacity, just press 50% just like this and go back and there you go, that's the opacity. So lock the layers, create a new layer on the top of it. And now what you can do is you can start tracing. And to start tracing, what we do is we use the pen tool. So I'm gonna use pen tool over here. Uh, before I start tracing, I want to disable the fill color and I want to enable the uh, stroke color right here. So increase the level of stroke uh, according to what you want. So let me just click it and start tracing. So let me start by tracing up the hair. All right, so what I want to do is I want to create a different layers for each of the bits I trace. So let me start up with the hair right here. The hairline, just click, click and drag, and there you go, that's how you trace it. So I'll click on this point to create a point. Click and drag, alt click, click and drag on this point and then alt click, click and drag on this point, alt click, click and drag on this point, all right, and click and drag on this. I don't need to click it because like I need the curve right there. So click it, click and drag, alt click, click and drag, 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 just like this, control Z, click and drag on this section right here, uh, click and drag over here, over here, over here, over here, and what I want to do is I want to um, actually have my ears over there, so my ears, uh, I'm going to create a separate layer for this, so I'm just going to overlap it over here, just like this, I'm going to create a separate ear layer, so over here, just click it, uh, and there's the hairline over here. So I guess the eyebrows is covering. That's uh, something I got to take care of while designing. Click and drag over here and click and drag at the end just like that. All right, there you go. So there's my hairline. I want to rename this so that it's air. Uh, it's easier for me to know later on. So just create a new layer again, drag it down, disable the hair layer. Now I'm going to work with the face. Maybe I want to work with the ear a bit as well, but uh, let me work with the face outline first. So for the face outline, what I want to do is start with the neck over here, click and drag just like this, uh, click and drag over here just like this, uh, click and drag over here. Uh, the mouth point, I'm going to create that later on. So just click and drag, uh, click and drag over here just like this, click and, uh, click and drag, click it and click and drag over here. Click it, click it, click it, because the hairline is going to overlap anyway, so I'm not going to take care of it. And even the ear over here will overlap the um, ear, so no problem regarding that either. So let me just click over here, and since hair is going to cover up again, I just want to click it roughly. There you go. So now this is my face line, so let me just color them up. Let me just uh, add the fill color in, so let me just add in the color of the skin over here. So that's too dark, so I want to go on to the color bit and then choose a lighter color like this all right so that's more like it and then go back to the layer bit and turn on the hair as well so i want to color the hair as well so for the hair i'm going to choose yellow all right there you go so you can see that my basic outline of the character actually looks good and it is complete so i want to add in much more detail so let me just disable these out and i'm going to create another layer 
and that's gonna be on top of my layer three that's my face so this is gonna be my face all right and for this uh, this is gonna be my mouth or another outline so um, I just uh, click my uh, pen tool over here then uh, click and drag the mouth line so let me just enable this uh, maybe uh, maybe uh, disable Oh yeah, disable this. Let me just work on with the mouth layer a bit. Let me just click it and then click on this side just like this. All right, there you go. So now what I can do is I can simply disable the fill for this and there you go. So, so there's my lips right there. All right, there you go. So now I'm going to work with the eyes. So this is going to be my lip. All right, so I'm going to create a new layer and over here I'm going to create the eye line. So let me just click and drag over here. So click, uh, click and drag just like this. Just make the eye just like that. Click and drag and over here, click it. All right, there you go. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to zoom in a bit. All right, just like this. I'm going to say eye. All right, so that's going to be my eye. And this is going to be my pupil. So let me just create a pupil out of a circular tool. So out of an ellipse tool, so let me just create the people right here and a people at the top. So that's going to be the shine for my people right there. And these are some spots over here that you can see. So let me just click and drag the spots just like this. All right, there you go. So there's the freckles on our character. All right, so let me just enable everything else. There you go. So you can see that the character is kind of ready. So I'm going to color this up now. So I'm just going to select a white for this and this. Uh, for this, I'm going to select uh, something like a black and for this, I'm going to select for the shine of the eye, I'm going to select uh, white again. All right, there you go. So that's the sign of the eye. Uh, but for this one, I'm going to create a darker color like uh, a blue, for example, that's uh, just too blue. All right. All right. There you go. That's it. So there you go. That's how you create eyes for the character. So you can see that the basic character is actually complete. Let me just uh, disable all these. Let me see. Yes, I have my ear ears remaining. So create a new layer, disable all the layers, and let me start tracing the ear right here. So now let me just click and drag over here. So let me click and drag, uh, click and drag over here. Click and drag and click and drag right here, just like this. All right, there you go. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, make sure that I can choose the face. So let me just select this layer out. And I'm going to uh, uh, take my eyedropper tool right here and select the layer just like that. So I got my ear uh, popped in just like that. All right. So you can see that my for my ears, I have it above the hair layer so that it stands above the um, ear. So let me just um, add a no fill to the color and let me just trace this one out now. All right. So let me just go over here to the pen tool, click and drag and trace out this section as well. Click and drag. Click and drag. I'm not pressing all because all I needed is a rounded shape over here. So there you go. So I got my yellow completed. And let me just go over to this section right here. And then let me just enable the face just like this. And then take the eyedropper tool and then select that out. All right. So let me just enable that out. And there you go. You can see that my cartoon character is ready. So this is how you basically uh, create a cartoon character that you want. So now this is just a plain cartoon character. So this is how you uh, trace out complex characters as well. You can see that you can be as detailed as you want. So now I can uh, reduce the number of uh, pixel points just here. So you can see that the character actually looks good. So let me just increase the size of this. So let me copy and paste this to create different versions of the character. So if I were to copy and paste this, you can see that I got a different version of the character. Let's say I'm going to remove the stroke entirely up to this. So if you want a very cleaner look, then you can actually do this. And for the freckles and everything else, you might want to choose darker bits of the color. So you have those details right there. So let me just press Ctrl Z. Let me click this and I'm going to uh, choose something like, uh, let's say I'm going to select the um, details of the uh, earlobe and then take the uh, eyedropper tool and let's just select this, uh, exchange that out and then disable this out. All right. So I'm going to choose a darker color, a darker tone of the same color right here. So I want to choose the darker color for the stroke. So let me just go a bit darker than what is required, a bit darker. All right, and press OK. And there you go. You can see that you got the icon right there. So I'm going to choose the same color for 
the freckles and the mouth itself as well. So let me just click on the same thing. And there you go. You can see that the freckles and mouth is there. Now it is safe to select all of this other layer. So let me select this. I'm going to make sure I'm not going to select the earlobes, the freckles and the mouth shape. So I'm going to disable this. Uh, and you can see that uh, you have a character right there. Another way, another way for design is to like, let's say, have similar colors. So in order to have similar colors onto the edges, what you can do is you can simply select the uh, shape right here. And then I'm going to select uh, like a dark yellow or something, just like that. All right, so select dark yellow. And you can see that you can immediately see that this gives a different look to the character. Since here we are using the same color for the skin and the mouth, uh, let me select uh, this out. So let me just select the same color. So let me just select my eyedropper tool and then select the ears. All right, so ears over here. The ear colors, no, not there. I want to select for the stroke itself. So let me just select uh, the same color over here. All right, so that's just too dark for my taste. So I'm going to select uh, my, okay, something like this color. All right, so it's lighter. All right, so I'm also going to select my eyes this is gonna be no stroke and then for this i'm gonna choose a uh, yellowish bit so maybe for this i'm gonna add in a stroke but a gray stroke so that it seems like normal all right and for this one i'm just going to choose a darker color just like this all right so this is just too dark i'm gonna select the same color but a lighter one all right so you can see that just by changing the colors we get different looks of the ca overall character Another way is to add in some uh, gradients onto the character as well. For example, I want uh, the lights to be coming on from this section right here. So what I can do is I can add in some gradients. So I can enable some gradients right there. All right, so click the gradients over here. So I want to add in gradients onto the, you can add in gradients onto the as as well. Uh, for the example, I'm just going to add in the gradients onto my uh, gradient layer um, on my fill color so go onto the fill color press cancel go to the gradient layer just like that and then select uh select the uh, blue color that um the select the yellow color and then maybe a darker yellow color at the end so select the yellow uh select the yellow color and a darker yellow color so i'm going to select um let's say yellow color let me just go over here yellow color and then over here on to the other section, I'm going to select the same color again. Let me just double click and then go on to the same section and then choose a bit of a dark color over here, just like this. All right, there you go. So you can see that seems like a shadow effect is there. So I can also change the angle. So let's say I'm going to change this to around, uh, let me just change that around. All right, so you can see, let me just change that around to, um, let's say light is coming from this section. All right, so a bit of gradient is there. I, mean, I can have the gradient on the skin as well. So for the skin, I'm going to choose uh, gradient. And for this, I want to uh, choose the skin color itself. So go for the skin color. Uh, the skin color is this one. All right. And then for the other gradient, I'm going to choose a darker skin, a skin color. Uh, just like this. Uh, let's see. That's just too dark. Yeah, this is much more better. All right. So you can see that the gradient is there. And then I'm going to use a radial gradient for this, all right? And then use the gradient tool to actually place the radial gradient over here onto the section and increase the size of the radial gradient. All right, there you go. So that's how you create a gradient. So on, the, on this section uh, over here as well, I'm going to use a radial gradient because that seems much more better. And I'm going to swap the spaces over here so that it can be a gradient. And then select the gradient tool. Let me just click on the side let me just increase the size of this just like that all right there you go so now let me just uh, decrease the size of this all right decrease the size of this decrease the size okay there you go so now what you can do is you can go to the yellow and then select the same color again so select the eyedropper tool and select this out and then i'm going to use the gradient tool because you can see some edges right there so uh, just go to the gradient selection tool go to the side all right, and then make sure that it is actually uh, quite compatible with each other. All right, so there you go. Control Z. Let me just drag it onto the side. All right, so you can see that it is much more better now. All right, so that's how you create gradients in characters as well. And if you want 
Um, you can also add ingredients to the eyes that gives a very, very dynamic lift, um, effect to the character as well. So you can use a gradient over here. And then over here, you can just use a shadow like eyes. All right. And over here, let's use a brighter color just like this. Let's just use a brighter color. All right. So there you go. That's how you create gradients. And you can have a dynamic effect in the character. Let me just copy and paste this and remove the stroke. And once I do that, you can see that you also have a gradient stroke character. So for this, I'm going to select the freckles and everything else again uh, to add in uh, different colors on the bits of it. So let me just select these out and then add in a color to it. So let me just select yellow, brown. All right. So let me just select the same skin color that I was choosing right there and just a bit darker. Press OK. Uh, I'm going to select the as for this, so is this, uh, and then select the dark color, press OK. There you go. All right. So now select all of these. And then what you can do is you can reduce the stroke color of it. And you can see that my green color is there. All right. So these are different ways on how I can create my characters. I can also uh, create a classical cartoon over here because my lines are straight. What I can do is I can erase those, I can make those uh, lines, let's say, a bit jagged. So, so you can see that you can have effects like these. So let's say I'm going to have a very, very jagged lines like these. So it looks much more like a cartoon character. Uh, so this gives a much more traditional feel onto the character as well. So you can simply copy and paste this as well. And I can do the same for this uh, character as well. So I can just use jacket and you can see that you got a very dynamic feel to the character just like that. You can also add in shadows and for adding on to the, on the shadows, what you can do is you can simply uh, copy and paste the character. Let's say, for example, I want the shadow on the character. So let me just increase the size of the canvas right here. All right. There you go. So now what I can do is I can add in shadows onto the character. So in order to add in shadows, let's say the slide is coming from this section is again, control C, control F. So it will paste the file on the top of it, select black and then go to opacity, turn it down. All right. And then I'm going to use the eraser to actually erase out the parts of the uh, hair. So I know that uh, this part of the uh, hair is light. So let me just do this. There you go. All right. And then what happens is that you see that a shadow is there. So I can decrease the opacity of the shadow. Let me just say it is 30 percent. All right. There you go. That's how you do the shadows. All right. And I'm going to do the same for the face. Control C, Control F. And then I'm going to uh, say black and then reduce the opacity right here. So let's say to around 20 percent. All right. There you go. And then I'm going to erase the bits and portions of them. It's just like this. So let me just uh, erase this out just like this. All right. So I'm just going to erase this shape out. So let me just select that out and let me just select my eraser. Uh, I'm going to uh, decrease the size of this a bit because I want the hairline uh, shadows to be seen over here just like this all right there you go and create a hairline shadow over here as well uh, just like that hairline shadow over here and then set erase all of these out so the shadow is not very prominent over here so let me just increase the uh, amount of shadow so opacity is actually two percent let me make it 20 percent so you can see that the shadow is there so for the um, yellow, I'm going to control C and press control F again and then use the black shadow. And then for this, I'm going to make it 20 percent. So it has the same tone as the rest of the character. All right. So that's how you add in shadows onto the character, as you can see right there. So now what you can do is uh, you can copy and paste and then you can also add in some blur effect to the shadows. So just select this and select this. And then go on to the effect and then go to blur and say Gaussian blur preview. And you can see that you can actually add in some blur levels to the shadows as well. So you can have multiple level of effects just like this. So you can see that it is very easy to trace a character inside of Adobe Illustrator by using pen tool. And you can create multiple types of looks of the character as well. So you just trace it out by using the pen tool. You can be as detailed as you want. And uh, this is how you trace a character inside of Adobe Illustrator. Hope you guys learned something as always. And as always, please like, comment, share, and subscribe.